What is up, Workbringer here, and this is a continuation of that uh, raid pug that I was part of before, where we did Shriekwing, and now the raid has continued on to Heroic Huntsman. I think that's what this thing is called. I don't know what I'm doing in this fight. However, I have done this a bit more since this run. Don't stand in that, <laughs> first of all. Um, so I've done this actually a couple times now, however, this one is my first heroic one, and uh, well, why don't we just stand in the circle? Yeah, what, what, could, what could go wrong? Again, I'm pretty geared for this, and people are probably pumping heels into me, so I'm just like, oh, whatever, <laughs> like, they're just trash. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're about to get into the real deal here, and the trash is really quick, so I thought I would just include it. The, the trash for Shriekwing is just, um, kind of long and annoying, but I guess that's where the BOEs come from. So we're going to clean these up. And so, uh, as a tank, this has two, um, there's two things going on. One tank, who is me in this case, will do absolutely nothing and tank the Hunts dude the whole time. That's it. That's literally it. But the other tank will tank the other bears. Uh, there is, there are three bears. And we'll see it here. And honestly, that's the perspective you want if you want to be like the tank that's doing the mechanics. If you want an easy time, just when you show up to this, just be like, I'm taking the Huntsman. You take the bears. <laughs> and I honestly think the Demon Hunter is the better person to do it. They're just a little bit more nimble than I am. So uh, essentially, when we're about to get into this poll, uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to tank the uh, Huntsman Altimore, or whatever his name is. I'm going to basically just keep him in place and um, we're going to the first two bears. We're going to the first dog bear and huntsman. We're going to tank them together right on top of each other, more or less. And Margor, the first bear is going to put uh, jaggedy uh, jagged swipe style stacks debuff on the other tank. I spoke with the other tank. Actually, I think I'm talking with them right now. Uh, they are also Kyrian in the Kyrian file, just like in Halls of Atonement. The, he can clear his own stack. So clear him at three, I think, is normally where you would clear them because it gets dangerous. Uh, if you're not off, if your off tank is not a Kyrian, you would have to taunt swap back, which is not a big deal because there's not a ton of damage going out. So that's the first phase we're going to go see here. Uh, I'm just taunting uh, Huntsman Ultimar, just getting them right into position and pop a little cooldown to just smooth it out here. Right, Healers don't want to drop all the heals on me until they're kind of in place so they don't pull aggro or anything like that. So the first one, we are going to sit here and just tank him together. You can see the Jagged Claws ticker just went through. So our Demon Hunter uh, has has the Jagged Claws debuff on him right now. Actually, you can see it on my Vidu. That's cool. I don't think I set that up. I don't I don't know how I can see that. But their, their stacks are going to go up. But he told me, he's like, don't even worry about it. You don't have to taunt. Um, however, again, with a non... You know, it was like a Venthyr Paladin or something like that, which is very common. We would be on voice, uh, which I think we're in... I th we have, I've been in Discord for all the raids I've done, even the pugs. Right? We would basically be... He would be like, okay, stacks are up, taunt them over for me. Right? And then I would take one tack. One uh, one stack of it. And we saw DBM said to taunt now too. Again, tank, other tanks said not to. But you'll see how little damage I'm taking right now. I could definitely take like, you know, one... Jagged claw, Claws stack, right? I think he has one and he cleared... Yeah, he cleared it when DBM said to taunt, right? So, so far I've done literally nothing and I will continue to do nothing. <laughs> so I will continue to just sit here and live through, constantly getting shot at. And what's going to happen is the other tank, we're on the second bear now, he's going to take Bargast back there. And what's going to happen is he's going to tank him separately from me. And there's going to be this ghost that comes out, this shade. And someone has to heal that shade to full. And it's based on, uh, I believe, the tank's health. And then if they mitigate it, um, that there's there's less to heal. And as a prop paladin, I actually have in my Vidu now, which you'll maybe see later, I actually have an NPC heal frame. Because, uh, again, as a paladin, I can off-heal the shade in this fight, which I didn't. Like that shade, I could be healing him right now because I'm not—I'm doing nothing right here. You know, I haven't even popped a single cooldown yet. Uh, do we not heal him? Anyway, I could be healing him, and you'll see in the other fight that I do uh, that I—I heal uh, as well. 
So the other thing that's happening are these two shades of Bargast come out. And what you want to do is CC them. And for every CC that happens to them, they get a stacking debuff Well, they'll get well they'll take more damage. So someone, the raid lead in most cases, uh, will be watching them. I don't know why they life cocooned the shade. This is where I need to be helping heal, because like I can just pop a cooldown immune and heal that shade up. That would be my job, I think, as I if I ever do mythic or something like that, I'm probably gonna be off healing this fight a lot. Uh, now that I get it. But anyway, those Shades of Bargast, you want to let them just sit there in CC until they hit a certain stack number, which is up to the raid lead. I'm not sure what that is. Eventually, I think I'll be able to raid lead the entire uh, heroic Nathria cast. I just need to be able to get through it myself first. Uh, I could probably pop a cooldown at the moment. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. Uh, again, you want to CC the Shade, and then at a certain point, when their damage debuff stacks are high enough, raid lead calls it, and we go kill the other Shade, right? Uh, and so I guess that's now. He's off screen, but the shade has been sitting there. He probably has like Omega, um, what's it called? You know, debuff stacks. So they're going to go kill it. So this boss, or I'm sorry, th this bear, again, yours truly, sitting here doing absolutely nothing. Uh, just kind of living. We tank these together. And what's happening with the other bear is that he is uh, accumulating these... Uh, stacks that make him like super powerful. I forget what they're called. And so what happens is that to clear the stacks, you have to move him. But every time he takes like one step, so to speak, it does raid damage to the whole raid. It does raid damage, right? So you can't just move him forever. But you need to move him every once in a while to clear his damage stacks. And again, I just sit there <laughs> and live and don't even decide to pop cooldowns until now, which is probably the right time, honestly. And so the other tank has to manage the stacks and the raid damage at the same time. And then at the same time, random people get those circles, and they need to put those circles into the sides of the room, and if you step on those circles, you will die. They do a lot of damage. Uh, so that's the fight, and then now we just kill... Uh, what's, the, what's that bear's name? Her Hercules or something? I don't know. We gotta kill him, keep dropping the stacks, keep moving them, keep moving the circles out. And I'm just trying to get out of the circles, and you know, the tank that does Huntsman does nothing. <laughs> I do nothing, and I'm just trying to put them back together so he doesn't have to move them. Uh, so we can continue to cleave together, right? So that is Huntsman on Heroic. Again, if you want an easy tank achievement... <laughs> Just say you're going to tank Huntsman and you do nothing. The only thing you need to make sure of is, of course, um, when the Shades of Bargast, the second bear, if they are CC'd, just, you know, move Huntsman away so you don't, uh, you know, accidentally bump them out or hit them. So stay away from the Shades of Bargast, off heal a bit, and if you do need to off tank the first bear, you do, but if you have a carrion, uh, they should know how to handle it and it's not a big deal. So that's the second boss for me, Heroic uh, Castle Nathia Raid, and we're going on to the next one. <laughs>